Hi everyone, welcome back to Voice of Crypto's daily news wrap where we talk about all things crypto, blockchain and web 3.0. Bitcoin was still below the 17,000 US dollar mark while Ethereum still traded below the 1200 US dollar mark. The global crypto market cap was down by 0.86% and traded at around 790 billion US dollar. Despite the enthusiasm despite the enthusiasm of a new year kicking off, there seemed to be no gains for Bitcoin, Ethereum and the global crypto market cap. A look at the top assets by market cap suggested that Bitcoin traded at 16,490 US dollar, down by 0.65% over the last 24 hours, while on the weekly chart, Bitcoin was down by over 2%. Ethereum was still below the 1200 US dollar mark, traded at 1,190 US dollar, down by 0.70% on the daily and 2.75% on the weekly. Binance Coin or BNB was down by over 1% on the daily and almost 1% on the weekly charts as well. On the hourly chart too, Binance Coin or BNB was losing ground by almost 0.25%. Um, the larger narrative in the cryptocurrency market was of losses and we could see that bears have taken over most of the coins' trajectory. XRP, pretty much like its counterparts, was down by over 2% on the daily and over 4% on the weekly chart. <clears throat> Dogecoin, the top meme token, was down by over 4% on the daily and over 13% on the weekly charts. We can see that Dogecoin is one of the top losers in the top 10 coins by market cap. The 9th and 10th ranked coins Cardano and Polygon were down by 1.76 and 3.44% respectively. Cardano had noted uh, a little more g losses on the hour. Cardano noted a little more losses on the weekly chart than Polygon, down by over 6% on the weekly, while Matic was down by over 5% on the weekly. With bears still in control of the global crypto market, how will the global cryptocurrency market react with another year taking off? Well, before that, let's take a look at the top gainers and losers of the day, uh, which is Jan 30th as another year closes. Not a lot of gainers in the market. OKB and Ethereum Proof of Work token as well as Lido Dao noted Minor gains but couldn't make it past 5%. Uh, most of the cryptocurrencies noted 2% or 1% gains which were merely enough to keep the price momentum going. However, there isn't much anticipation from price at the moment as we can clearly see. In terms of losses, however, Chain's XCN token was down by over 11% followed by Neutrino USD or USDN. Axie Infinity 2 was down by over 5%. HBAR, Engine Coin and Sandbox were down by 5, 5 and 4%. Sandbox, Near Protocol, Flow, Decentraland, Dogecoin, Chili's were all among the top losers of the day with almost, no, with over 4% losses. Looking at some of the top news of the day, well, Sam Bankman, Freed and FTX continued to make some major strides in terms of news and SBF still managed to make to a lot of news headlines. Um, there were considerable rumors around Sam Bankman, Freed cashing out over 680,000 to a crypto exchange in Seychelles while under house arrest. Um, an analyst at Defi Education said that Sam Bankman Fried might have cashed out over 600,000 US dollar to a crypto exchange while on a house arrest. A while back, when SBF agreed to take control of the Sushi Swap exchange from anonymous founder Nomi in August 22, he asked for the ownership to be transferred to his Ethereum address and uh, the Ethereum address was given by SBF himself. 
Chief um, Chef Nomi transferred ownership to SBF's address in September itself after SBF was released his wallet sent all the remaining crypto tokens to a new Ethereum address created an hour earlier. In three hours, over 100 new deposits were made to this wallet from various addresses, most having links to SBF's defunct hedge fund Almeida Research. In less than four hours, 570 Ethereum worth approximately uh, 600,000 US dollar was transferred out of this new wallet to various destination. Uh, in fact, there are claims that funds were sent to a no-KYC exchange based in the CHLs and to Bitcoin network via the REN protocol, which is a bridge funded by Alameda. With Sam Bankman-Fried still creating ripples in the market and making headlines, another interesting theory was that Sam Bankman-Fried met with the Weiss White House aides on crypto policy before the FTX collapse. This means that SBF met senior Biden um, aide Richard on September 8th while uh, FTX was in a bad condition throughout. So this means that did the White House have any insights on the condition or um, did it chose to remain silent? Well, uh, as per the recent Bloomberg report, SBF did meet White House people from White House before the FTX collapse. In another news, Cardano's uh, staking recently arrived on iOS devices via Trust Wallet. And that is that you'll get the best news, information and all sorts of theories around the crypto, web free and blockchain space right here on Voice of Crypto. This is all in today's episode. For more such content, keep following Voice of Crypto on our social platforms as well as on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like our content, don't forget to hit that like button.